Most unfortunately, you are not in my house, and the decision to expel you does not rest with me. I shall go and fetch the people who do have that happy power. You will wait here. Of course I do. Do you think your father and I would have lain down and taken orders from an old hag like Umbridge? If we die for them, I'll kill you, Harry. Fascinating. Ingenious, really. How many ways muggles have found of getting along without magic. But let me make one thing very clear. You are not going to pass off your many ineptitudes on the students of Hogwarts. I shall not permit it. Well, I don't believe it. I was away half the night thinking it all over, and I believe it's a plot to get the house. You produced a fully-fledged Patronus? A corporeal Patronus? We did it. We bashed them. We Potters, the one. And Voldy's gone moldy. So now let's have fun. It's all right. You're not going mad or anything. I can see them too. Everyone take a pair of earmuffs. When I tell you to put them on, make sure your ears are completely covered. I thought he would come. I expected him to come. And then, and then, if you'll believe it, he says to me, he says, Here, where did you get all them toads from? Cause some son of a bludger's gone and nicked all mine. My parents are muggles, mate. They don't know nothing about no deaths at Hogwarts because I'm not stupid enough to tell them. What's her to do? I'm not at all sure whether this is wise, Minerva. He is bound to find a way in, you know, and anyone who has tried to delay him will be in most grievous peril. We do not speak of it. We do not name it. I never even told Agrid the name of that dread creature, though he asked me many times. Cool name. But you'll always be Ickle Diddykins to me. Oh, he looks just like I thought he would. What's your Harry? Grindelwald killed many people. My grandfather, for instance. Of course, he was never powerful in this country. They said he feared Dumbledore. And rightly, seeing how he was finished. But this, this is his symbol. I recognized it at once. How about we had to write an essay about our hero at school, Mr. Mason, and I wrote about you. In times of old, when I was new and Hogwarts barely started... The founders of our noble school thought never to be parted. United by a common goal, they had the self-same yearning to make the world's best magic school and pass along their learning. Percy's in shock. That Ravenclaw girl, Penelope Clearwater, she's a prefect. I don't think he thought the monster would dare attack a prefect. You may wear that scar like a crown, Potter, but it is not up to a seventeen-year-old boy to tell me how to do my job. It's time you learn some respect. But you would think, wouldn't you, that getting hit forty-five times in the neck with a blunt axe would qualify you to join the headless hunt? Smells like a drain and a criminal to boot. But she's no better, nasty old blood traitor with her brats messing up my mistress's house. Stag! It's a goat! Idiot! The owner of the Elder Wand must always fear attack. But the idea of the Dark Lord in possession of the Death Stick is, I must admit, formidable. Never used an unforgivable curse before, have you, boy? You need to mean them, Potter! You need to really want to cause pain, to enjoy it. Righteous anger won't hurt me for long. I'll show you how it is done, shall I? I'll give you a lesson. It's amazing here, isn't it? I never knew all the odd stuff I could do was magic till I got the letter from Hogwarts. My dad's a milkman. He couldn't believe it either. So I'm taking loads of pictures to send home to him. Norbert, the Norwegian Ridgeback. We call her Norberta now. I understand. Natural to want a bit more once you've had that first taste. And I blame myself for giving you that, because it was bound to go to your head. But see here, young man, you can't start flying cars to try and get yourself noticed. Just calm down, all right? <laughs>